After several years of on and off load shedding, we're pretty used to the concept. ESCOM needs to buy a little slack on the grid every now and again to ensure the system doesn't overload and leave the country in darkness for days. But knowing why we need it doesn't make it any easier to swallow. At least now, thanks to a local techie, there's a way to keep track of load shedding and to find out when it might affect you. There is nothing like arriving home from a long day at work, turning the kettle on as you make your way to run a hot bath, only to realize there is no electricity. And then you sit, waiting, as you have no idea when the electricity will come back on. Do you go out for dinner? Do you wait it out? Or do you just scream out of frustration? Someone who got sick of screaming is Johan de Toy. He was fed up with trying to figure out the load shedding schedule and so decided to create an online interactive map that would help Cape Tonians keep up to date with the load shedding plans. The map is pretty easy to use and all you need to do is look up the day and stage you want to know about and hover over the time to see which areas will be impacted. You can also leave the app running to see the areas change during the day as it will automatically update itself. I was sitting at home one night and I went on the Cape Town Municipality's website and I wanted to see if my area is going to be affected and I had a hard time figuring out where my area is and when it's going to be off. So I thought, why not make this a nice interactive map that I could just go view and hover and see which areas are affected. Uh, there have been a few communities from Durban and Johannesburg reaching out to me just to get this in their local neighborhood. And I've decided and working with a few local people to cr start crowdsourcing this. And what I mean by crowdsourcing is local communities can add the data themselves. So we can spread this across the country. I'm involved in various projects. I'm a local guy in Cape Town, in South Africa, trying to solve local problems I see daily, so I'm scratching my own itch. And with the pace that Africa is currently growing with technology, there are a lot of itches to scratch. There's also a new Android app available called Load Shedding SA, created by Pretoria engineer Keegan Lads. He also got sick and tired of late or difficult to access load shedding notices. So he decided to create an app that collates ESCOM's official load shedding information into an easy to use and understandable app. The app uses information directly from ESCOM's website, as opposed to municipal information, and will be able to update you immediately on load shedding warnings in the suburbs you've chosen to be notified about. I created Load Shedding SA because the ESCOM website is not user-friendly compared to where we're in an age where mobile devices, everybody has them and people want information now. Load Shedding SA works by, in the background, loading the ESCOM's Load Shedding website and scraping the data off their website so it can show it in a more user-friendly way. The features you can find useful is obviously the fact that you can get load shedding schedules on your device at a touch of a button. You can also quickly search for a, for a suburb or an area, and you can also favorite an area. So you don't have to search for an area. It will be saved in a list of favorited areas. And then every morning it will check automatically for uh, load shedding in your area and will notify you if there's load shedding today, this week, or this month. So you're always in the know of whether there's load shedding in your areas. No website or app will make load shedding any less annoying, but what this technology can help us do is to plan our days around it, and to therefore avoid that unexpected cut in power leaving you in total darkness halfway through cooking dinner.